Hello, I'm Tamara Winfrey Harris and welcome to EMTV, the Idle Jordan Museum's first ever video cast. I'm here today at Vine and Table in Carmel with wine director Lewis Kelly. Now, at 6 p.m. on March 5th at the Idle Jordan Museum, Lewis is going to be hosting Wines 101. And exactly what will people learn? Wines 101 is going to be uh, an introduction course to a lot of the different varieties you find in the United States. Uh, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Syrah, Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon. So for people that, that have heard these wines or maybe have not heard of them, uh, it will be a good opportunity to, to kind of meet these grapes and be introduced to them and, and uh, know what you're going into in our big tasting at the Idle Jordan on the 19th. Speaking of our big tasting, we are once again for the second year in a row hosting Wines of the West. That's on March 19th at 6 p.m. And that's an opportunity to taste some of the best wines, more than 100 in fact, from uh, the West, which is one of the nation's best wine producing regions. So tell me a little bit about tasting. I'm a, I'm a novice when it comes to wine and my tastes aren't very mature. Sure. So what happens at a tasting? Well, tasting is like anything else. Um, I'm, I'm often asked, uh, you know, what, how do you get all, how do you detect all these subtleties and all these, well, it's not something you just have, you learn it. It's, it's like anything else. You, 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 events like this are great because you do get exposed to so much and you really get to see how wine works. But, Hey, you know, you can't you can't be expected to do that if you don't really know how to evaluate a wine. And there there is uh, not a right or wrong way, but there's better ways to, to evaluate a wine. So when you're first, so let's just do red. Okay. And this this particular one will actually be at the, uh, the March 19th. Uh, we'll, we'll be at Wines of the West Trinchero uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, a red, obviously Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, now, when I when I first look at a wine, I look at its color, its extraction. How you know usually the darker it is, the heavier it's going to be um, in the mouth. And then you'll always give it a gentle swirl. Okay, let's give that a try. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's okay to spill a little. Now, you do this for a couple of reasons. One is the bouquet. You want to open the wine up. When, when wine is exposed to oxygen, it opens up exponentially. It becomes a lot softer and, and it you get a lot of bouquet coming out of the glass. Now, Taste is overrated, and I'll tell you really? why. When you're evaluating a wine, about 80 to 85 percent of what you're going to get out of that wine will be on the nose. And the easy way to, to illustrate that is when you have a cold, try to drink a glass of wine, um, and, it's, and it's very different. So if I'm professionally evaluating a wine, I'll spend a good, you know, 15 minutes just on the nose alone. Um, so you're trying to to expose, like really kind of unleash the bouquet of the wine when, when you're swirling it in the glass. Now, if you notice. You'll see how it sticks to the side of the glass there. Can it runs down the side. Those are called legs or tears. Now, a lot of people think, oh, this wine has great legs, you know, it's it's a great wine. Those are not an indicator of quality at all. All that means, if it sticks to the glass more, is it has a higher alcohol content. Okay? So the more it sticks to the glass, the higher alcohol the wine, the more full body it's, it's probably going to be. And um, if that's going to be typical of your bigger wines, you know, your, your heavier wines. And again, not an indicator of quality at all. Um, and it's based on, get a little geeky here for a second, the Marigoni effect that uh, alcohol evaporates faster than water. Um, so, more it sticks, higher the alcohol. Now, now comes the actual, now I could get into things like rim variation and all that stuff, but we'll leave that alone. So, when you smell the wine, now here's the key. I've seen, I've seen people do it a thousand different ways. Over here, over here, up here. When you smell the wine, the first thing is you really want to get into the glass, okay? You want to tilt it at about a 45 degree angle, and you want your nose to really be in there. Come on. <laughs> okay, now, now when you smell, make, remember that your sense of smell is very, very keen. It's very delicate. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to take big, prolonged sniffs. You want a small, short, the brisk, breath. yeah. Just small, short, you know, do once, two, and you'll start to notice different things. Like, tell me what you smell. Grapes. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> step one, the right answer? Step one complete. <laughs> grapes. There are grapes in this one. That is, that is absolutely true. Now, what you'll look for out of something like this is red fruits like berries, mm -hmm. 
or a big cat, tea leaves, that kind of thing, that kind of dryness. A little I bit of cinnamon. Berries. 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 Exactly. Sweet. Yeah, a little bit of residual well. sugar. Now, so you smell it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here's the fun part. You get to drink it now. Now when you taste it, and everybody messes this up first. Mm -hmm. So you know when you have a hot soup, okay, and it's uh, it's so hot that you try to cool it off right. in your mouth. You do the exact same thing when you're tasting water. Okay, so you taste it, smell it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel it? Mm -hmm. it? It drags air through the wine. It circulates and mm -hmm. kind of beats it up a little. Um, you can just kind of feel it explode. So what do you taste? I don't know. <laughs> What's the right answer? <laughs> That's the best part is there is yeah. no right answer. Okay. You know, to each their own. Where one person finds strawberries, another mm -hmm. person may find uh, raspberries or, or cola. Uh, is, is a common descriptor, uh, especially of cat. So, and I guess that's that's one thing that's interesting to me is I never thought of all of those things that go into wine. Sure. You think wine, you think okay, grapes. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess it, first it helps to know all of the other things that might go into a bottle of wine, sure. so you know what you're tasting. Mm -hmm. it, it does. I mean, wine is is grapes. That's that's what it is. Um, but it's it's. It is something that has to be learned. And you can't expect it. How do you describe green tea? If, if you say this wine smells like green tea, if somebody's never had green tea, they're not going to smell green tea. Right. Um, so you associate it with what you know, whether they mean berries or um, uh, different kinds of, you know, with Chardonnay, for example, people a lot of times say butter and, and oak and vanilla and all, and all these things. So, um, so it's just about what you know and being able to get out and, and taste as many wines as possible because you can't be expected to to evaluate a wine if you haven't really tasted any wine. If you've only had right. one Zinfandel, how do you really know what Zinfandel's like? So uh, that's the point of this wine to the West thing. Is. Here, what happens at a wine tasting? Uh, well, it depends. Um, for example, our wines to the West tasting, we're going to have about 150 different wines in. Um, and there will, my, I will be there um, if anybody has any questions, and, and there will be everybody that's pouring behind every single table. I think we, we have 28 tables of wine now. Um, is is well versed in wine and will be able to answer any questions that anybody has. Something like this is the opportunity. You will be exposed to so many different varieties, probably some you've never even heard of. Um, you know, and and it will be a great introduction. Um, now, a tasting like this is just that. It's a tasting. There will be gorgeous hors d'oeuvres made by Cons Catering. Um, uh, that, that just they go all out uh, the cheeses and and um, and everything's being prepared with the wine in mind. Um, so this will be just kind of a general casual tasting um, where you'll be able to walk around and sample hundreds of different wines. Now, an actual professional tasting is a little different. You do a lot more spitting at a professional tasting. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. We swallowed that. We did swallow yeah. that, and you can easily professionally at, a, at an event like that. Don't be afraid to spit. I mean, Tasting a lot of wines, so you want to, you know, you want to be careful. And, and, and unless you have a driver, then you know, you're on. Your, you got somebody to drive you. You're, you're, you're all set. But at a professional tasting, um, uh, where you're actually evaluating the wine, you'll spend a good five to ten to fifteen, maybe even twenty minutes. If it's really good on wine, um, and you'll spit because you have to taste a lot of them. Um, so that's a little different. Um, the glassware is chosen very specifically, um, and it's usually done blind. Um, you know the varietal, but you don't know the maker. You never get to see the bottle, um, and uh, you just get a, a flight of glasses, and you have to evaluate it based on the wine alone. So you don't have to go into it with any preconceived notions. But this, you'll know what the wine is. Um, you'll have a a, a a sheet that has all the wines on it, all the prices on it, um, all that stuff. So it's it's going to be it's going to be really user friendly. And there will be discounts on cases and half cases. Really good. Everyone that came last year really, really enjoyed it. It's thirty-five dollars per person, and again, that's six p.m. March nineteenth for Wines of the West. Mm -hmm. And to get you ready for Wines of the West, Wines One Hundred and One is six p.m. March fifth, um, and that's twenty-five dollars mm -hmm. per person. And you will be under the expert guidance of Lewis Cali, Wine Director of Vine and Table. Thank you so much Thank for you joining much. us today. Thanks for coming purchase tickets or to find more information about Wines 101 or Wines of the West, call the Idle Jordan Museum at 317-636-9378.
or visit Vine and Table's website at vineandtable.com. You can find more Idle Jorb Museum video casts and audio casts at idlejorb.org. Click on the graphic at the bottom right hand side of the screen.